Okay, I want to go through a little bit more on focal length and aperture. I'll go through these again in another uh, video, but this is just to uh, sort of build on the anatomy of a lens uh, video. So remember from the anatomy of a lens or camera uh, video, the lens has three settings on it or three rings, a focus ring. In this case, this has a zoom ring and then an aperture ring, okay? Those are the three rings on this lens. Now, not all uh, lenses will have this zoom ring, okay? Not all lenses can you change the focal length of the lens, but it will have at least a focus ring and a uh, aperture ring. So remember the zoom lens, uh, the zoom ring is changing the focal length. The focus ring is not changing the focal length of the uh, of the lens, what it's doing is bringing the image so that it is in focus on the recording device that's back here, and that's the camera, okay? Changing focal length of the lens, changing uh, where the image is focused, and changing the aperture of the lens. And remember the aperture is that inside diameter of the lens. Oh, there you go. Okay, now you can see that is open. And that is much smaller, so small that all you're seeing are the reflections, okay? Open, close, or not close, but smaller. And remember the f-stop number, that's right there, that's 30, that's on eight, 32. That's a small opening. A four, in this case, is a big opening. So that's a f-stop of four. And the numbers, the f-stop numbers are getting bigger as that aperture starts to get smaller. All right, so let's go through that uh, focal length and aperture a little bit more. Okay, so focal length. That's the, so this is the side view of a lens. The light is coming in through the lens and it ends up uh, coming, all the points of light come together at a certain point and that's the focal length. Okay, this length right here is 200 uh, millimeters. All right, that's the focal length of the lens. And sorry, I already drew this because actually I did the whole lecture and then I, uh, but I forgot to hit recorded. So um, all this is already written down. Um, here is a 17 millimeter lens. This is a side view of the uh, 17 millimeter lens. Light is coming in through the lens and uh, the lens brings all the light rays together at a point that's 17 millimeters from the axis of that lens right there. So longer focal length, shorter focal length. The influence the focal length has on the image is a couple of things. Uh, one is the field of view, okay? A 200 millimeter uh, focal length lens will have a narrower field of view that's ultimately recorded on the recording media, in this case, charge coupling device for a digital camera. A shorter focal length will have a wider field of view. So if you look at your GoPro uh, lens, they're, they're gonna have a really small focal length. If you look like a camera like I have uh, in this video I've shown you, that can have a really long focal length. So that's gonna influence how wide or how much you can see in the lens in terms of uh, of width of image. This is also going to influence image size. So the longer the focal length, the bigger the image will be on the charge coupling device. The shorter the uh, length, the smaller the image will be. And you know this, again, if you look at a, at a GoPro uh, image, the image is actually quite small, but you can see lots, okay? Lots of field of view. In a zoom lens, the image is larger, but you're much more restricted in terms of what you can see. I'll, I'll do some more on this uh, in another presentation where I go through the focal length uh, and the math behind the focal length a little bit more. Okay, but two issues that the focal length um, influences the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the field of view and the image size, okay? 
So then the other setting, I'm not gonna go through the focus ring. The focus ring is just bringing the image to focus on the charge coupling device. It's not influencing the focal length. Uh, but uh, the other setting of the lens is aperture. This controls the amount of light that goes through the lens. That's that uh, diameter that I'm opening or closing through the f-stop. And right? that's the, the, the way we refer to, um, to this aperture. The aperture controls the amount of light and it also controls a really important part of uh, camera work and that's depth of field. How much is in focus uh, in the picture? So, you know, if I look at a picture, um, I, I, I can, uh, it, it, it's two dimensions and uh, what you often need to set or pay attention to is how much of the image is in focus um, in terms of how deep that focus goes uh, in the image. So if you take a picture of like a fence, okay, you know, this is a you know, bad fence here. All right, this is a side view of a fence like that. Well, what I mean is taking a picture of the fence sort of the long way, okay? Taking it as you're looking down the rail, okay? What you'll see with depth of field is how many of those, uh, those uh, supports are in focus uh, and, and how many of them are in focus will describe the depth of field. The more in focus, the bigger the depth of field, the less number of spikes in, uh, or stakes in focus, uh, the less depth of field. All right, so on my camera, I have f-stop settings like four or 32. The f-stop setting of four is actually a bigger opening than a 32. So one way to look at this is that it's really, it, this isn't correct, but it's close enough in terms of describing the concept here. Just do the inverse of the f-stop number. And really what's in the numerator is the focal length of the lens. And then this ratio describes the amount of light that comes in, which is ultimately determined by the, uh, the um, the aperture setting and, and uh, the length of the lens in terms of how much light's coming in. All right, so the bigger, excuse me, the smaller the f-stop number, if we think of that as a ratio, uh, the bigger the aperture, the less depth of field there is, the less depth of field. The, the bigger the f-stop uh, value, the aperture setting, the smaller the aperture, the more depth of field there is, okay? One way I like to think about depth of field is it's half of this number. So it would be one over two, or I'm just gonna, uh, well, it would be two, I should just got that wrong, two in both directions. But here, a 32 would be 16, uh, and, and I'm trying to avoid seeing uh, units here, but it's, uh, what's in focus is 16 stakes, if you will, versus two stakes. And that, um, and I'm just dividing that uh, f-stop into uh, halves, and then two units in front and two units in back, 16 units in front, 16 units in back of the focused point will be in focus. So the uh, smaller the, the f-stop number, the smaller, uh, sorry, tongue tied. The smaller the f-stop number, the bigger, excuse me, the bigger the f-stop value, the smaller the opening, the more depth of field. The smaller the f-stop value, the bigger the aperture, less depth of field. Okay, so those are two real critical aspects to a lens. And I'll go through this in more detail uh, in a, a follow-up presentation, but this at least gets you focused on some of the nuts and bolts of uh, a lens. All right, thanks.